Now, what are we going to talk about today? Well, it might have to do with an electrical outlet like this. This happens to be a GFI electrical outlet. Do you see the little buttons down there? I don't know if you can see those or not. But that's what this video is going to be about. I have one in the laundry room. I'm going to go in there right now uh, and show you. So if you want to learn a little bit more about an electrical uh, GFI electrical outlet, I was going to make this video on how to install and uh, take out an old one and install a new one to replace a bad GFI. Well, let's go up into the laundry room and see if, in fact, the existing GFI is bad. Okay, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So keep watching this video if that's what you're interested in learning. Okay, we're in the laundry room and I thought for sure that this electrical outlet, this is a GFI and a GFI ground fault interceptor uh, outlet usually has the test buttons, red and black. This should be a test button down here and this is a reset button. Now not all GFI outlets are red and black, some of them are are just the same color as the electrical outlet. And look at this, years ago, 17 years ago when they installed this brand new, this electrical GFI should have been white and it's off-white. Can you see that? Here's the white, all the outlets in the house, white and white. White electrical outlets, white cover plates. You can get them the other color if you want. Years ago, they, they didn't give you an option. You didn't have white. All you had was off-white. Okay, look at that. They, they even messed that up. They, they uh, should have put in a white one. But anyways, back to this. I thought for sure that was not working because when I press the black button, the test button, this red should pop out. Okay, and it's not doing it. I even took an electrical tester. Put that in there. There's no power to this outlet. And you see, this this is just a little charger. That's for a vacuum. Now look, right now this is is plugged in and I know there's power to it. See this blue light? See that blue light? It's flashing. Okay. And Usually, I have that plugged into there, but, but I plugged that in one day and then came back the next day to use it and there was no power to it. I'm like, what is going on? So I looked at that to check it and there was no power to it. And I even plugged in to this electrical outlet and there was no power to that either. And, I was, and, and it, I'm betting, I'm wagering that this electrical outlet is tied in to this GFI. And why do I think that? Look, right now, if I plug this in, I should not have any power. But in reality, there should be power to this if it was not, if it was not connected to the GFI, okay? And the reason why I think it is, is because, see right here on the cover plate? It looks like there's some paper there. It's like, like the back is something. Well, there should be, if this is connected over there, they it should have a little piece of tape on here that says GFI protected. And I'll bet you it does, say, it did say that once upon a time and that little label pulled off. So there's no power to that. And so, and we'll, go, and we'll even test that a little further. I had, I had to plug this in way over here. But that plug's pushed into the wall too. I'm gonna have to make a separate video of that one of these days. Look at this. See how the see how the electrical outlet's pushed into the wall a little bit, and it and it's moving around. I don't want to mess with it too much because this is power, and that's that's running the uh, the washing machine. So I'm gonna have to make a separate video of that one of these days coming soon because it's all these little things that add up, that just make, make me want to fix everything. And if I've got these issues on this house, 
you might have some of these issues too. So I'm going to plug this back in to verify that that's not working. Okay. You look down here, that blue light is not on, is it? And if I take it, and you think, well, maybe the top one's working. No, nope, the top one's not working either. And you think, well, maybe, maybe we'll plug this in. And we'll test it over here. Maybe Joe's tester's not working. Let's plug it in over here. Look at that, nothing. Let's try the top. Sometimes you might, you know, you might have an issue with just part of your outlet. No. And in your bedrooms, maybe over by your lamp, your, your nightstand, you, maybe you don't have power on one. And you know why? Because they might have, they might have uh, broken the tabs on the side of this and had power only when you hit the light switch by the door and your, and your lamp to your bed is supposed to be plugged in here, not here. You'll have power all the time here, no power here unless you hit the light switch, you know, by your bed. So check that out next time you think your lamp is not working properly. Okay, so so I thought, okay, so back to this. Let's, let's move this over. Get this out of my way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug that, I'm gonna plug that back in over here. No, actually I'm gonna leave this like that, okay? So I thought for sure that that needed to be replaced. So I went to the store, my favorite store, which is that, it's Home Depot. And I've got an electrical outlet with the GFI and I got a white one. This one's white, okay, not that off white. See here, look at that, the white. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this out. I don't think we're going to, I'm not sure if we're going to need this. And see inside the box, see there's little, there's little things here. Look, there's quite a few of them. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six labels that have that. And it's just a little small label, see? You peel it off like that. And that would be... You wouldn't have to put that on your GFI, underneath your GFI. You would put this on an adjoining electrical outlet or maybe in the other bathroom. If you got a, a bathroom where the, where the electrical outlet is tied into a GFI. And I'll bet you one of these was right there. Okay. So no power here and there's no power to this other GFI. So far so good, right? We're just talking about this right now. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this away carefully because I might not use this electrical outlet if we in fact make a determination that that's good. Now how, now how can we check that? How can we check that? Before we go into the problems of trying to hook this up or something and shutting the power off, we would have to shut the power off to this because I wouldn't want to pull this out and get my fingers in there and seeing if, um, if, if the screws are hot or not and then go back to the electrical panel, turn one breaker off and then another one, find out which one it is. Okay, there's one thing I can check first, maybe, just maybe, the electrical outlet tripped somehow with this or there was a power surge or something happened in here and maybe it tripped not only the outlet, it might have also tripped the breaker in the sub panel or your electrical panel outside or if you have a sub panel inside the house or if you, have an, if you live in an apartment, maybe your sub panel is behind the door in a storage room, in a closet, in, in the laundry, wherever, maybe it's in the garage or something. So we're going to go down and look at an electrical panel, at the electrical panel see if we can't first off see if any breakers are tripped because you know what if no breakers are tripped that tells me hopefully that we've got an issue with this and what could we do with that we'd have to we'd have to take the cover plate off carefully knowing that there's still power to there and then we would have to we would have to test the sides we'd have to test the side wires we'd have to put you know Hold, hold it on the, on both sides. 
we'd, and we'd have to we'd have to carefully go in there and hold it like that and see if we can't get that to work then we'd have to go back and forth to the electrical panel turn off breaker see which one it was and all that kind of stuff because even though there's no power there I know there's still pop you know if the breakers were working in the panel the wires one of the wires sets in here would still be hot okay I think I've given you enough information and fully confused you now. Before we do anything, we're going to go back to the electrical panel. We're going to see if any breakers are tripped. Okay? 